Tommy, if you'll come up and introduce her. Uh, Tommy Clark, executive committeeman for the GOP for Lexington County. Uh, he was district president. What district was that? Eastern. Eastern district for how many years? Long time. Four, four years. Tommy's going to come up and introduce uh, his colleague who's running for first time for public office, April MacGyver. She's our main um, attraction today. I'm the harmonica. Harmonica? Well, <laughs> you might, Mr. Gaines might do a lead in when you come up here. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly right. You're in Dixie or America. Even more. Come up and tell us what you know about April. April and get sued again. What you can tell us about why she's running. Come up. Tommy Clark, folks. Give Tommy a hand. Yeah, yeah. April and I do the same kind of work. We go to the courthouse and examine real estate records for attorneys when there's going to be a, a real estate transaction. I've known April uh, 10 or 12 years now. We've, uh, we've been in the same business, uh, the same for that time period, and I know her to be a quality person and very, very capable and um, honest and, and very knowledgeable about the situation in the deed office. And the situation is not good. There have been... Uh, Problems that, and with the Debbie Gunther, the current uh, uh, Register of Deeds, is a friend of both of us. Uh, she was an abstractor too before she went into the deed office, and um, and and all of us who do this and have done it a long time have known Debbie for years. So we're all friends, but there there are real problems, and we need a change there. And a April will be just an excellent um, candidate. Certainly, certainly. <laughs> Y'all get your questions ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Is that an elected position? Register of Yeah. It sure is. Yeah. Now, Richland County is appointed, but um, just in doing a little Google research on, on running, it's elected in most states, is what I found. But Richland County is an appointed position. I'm not sure what the difference is, but. Democrats run like Richland. Is that what it is? Well, Tommy said some of the things I wanted to say. Um, first of all, for you all that don't know what the Register of Deeds Office is, it is a recording agency. Any deeds, mortgages, plats, all of the real property transaction, land tra transactions are recorded there. They're, they're kept there. The uh, copies are indexed. There's a certain indexing system. There are statutes that our state has set up you know, that, that the Register of Deeds is supposed to follow as far as recording properly. Another big thing is maintaining the records. They are historical documents, you know, from since Sherman went through and burned everything down from there forward, we have all of the land transactions. And you can go back and you can do family research if you want, or like Tommy and I, it is your livelihood. Everything about that office and the way it's run has to do with how we earn a living and how we take care of our families. Not only us, but it's also real estate attorneys, probate attorneys, um, surveyors, realtors, you know, so it's it's bigger than just recording. There's a lot that goes on there, and those documents are really important. Um, what I do, like Tommy said, is as an abstractor, is we're hired by real estate attorneys, uh, probate attorneys, whoever, and we research the title. So we have to look for anything and everything that will affect that land that you may be buying, feeding to your children, refinancing, or, you know, if you're unfortunately getting foreclosed on, we do work for the banks and the, and the bank the bank's attorneys, and we research the property. So again, the records are our livelihood. The accuracy is of the utmost importance. I can't turn in a title exam and have missed a mortgage or a judgment or a tax lien. So the indexing is always an issue. We can only see what's there and we can only use so much creative imagination to look things up. We've got to we've got to look around and make sure we find everything. So the, the indexing and the documents are all important and important to everybody. Um, I love my job. I wasn't really looking for anything, but I knew there have been problems for years at the Register of Deeds. And again, like Tommy said, I have respect for Debbie, a, a lot of respect. She's been there a long time, and there's a reason for that. Um, she and I shook hands and wished each other well, but I was approached by some other abstractors, you know, at, for the thought of running, and um, I was flattered, 
And so I had to sleep on it, pray about it, think about it. And uh, for me, it's a way to give back a little bit. I've earned my living there. I've, I've lived four miles from the courthouse. My children have all gone through Lexington schools. It's a way I can go in, improve things for my fellow co-workers, for the, you know, for, for the people that use the office for their living, and also for the public. Um, one of the other things, people come in all the time that are looking for their property, or mama gave this to me, but my brother says it's his, you know, and it's hard for them to come in and get some attention sometimes. So I want to, uh, I want to bridge the gap between what they do in the ROD, the online system. I want to make, you know, maybe have some forums for the public to come in and learn a little bit about how to research themselves. Um, there's a budget that has to be met. You know, she's under the gun as far as budget money goes and what she spends it on. I've reviewed the budget. I've already seen just under $1,000 that I could knock out just like that. So um, that was an easy one. Uh, so there's some things. Let me look at my notes and make sure I've kind of covered what I'm here for. I suppose that's it. Um, if you all have any questions about, like I said, why I'm running, what my plans are, I'll be more than happy to answer them. I've got some cards with some information. Don't have my literature out yet, but we're working on that too. But um, I have managed before. I have three grown children that are doing well. I know how to manage a budget. I, I love working with the public. I plan on being a, an active part on the floor, somebody that is there that you can count on. Um, I just have a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas to improve the current state of things and uh, bring about some changes that will hopefully save us some money in that budget as well. Okay, well, thank, thank you. And I know we'll probably have several questions. David? Well, I mean, on a closing, when you say defense, that doesn't go in your department. You know, it does, and I try to look at where the money goes, and honestly, that there's records or not, I, I couldn't find them the day I looked. Um, but I don't think, but that's not part of the budget. That's not? I don't think so. It goes because, into the county. Yeah, because we looked at like, the copy the costs. Because yeah. like we looked at the copy, we were trying to figure out. Because it where seems like you have a pretty lucrative budget. Well, that's what I was trying to find out about copy costs. See, as Tommy and I go in there as, as abstractors, we pay 50 cents a page for every copy that we, so I was trying to find where the copy money goes. It doesn't go in the budget either. Because I was trying well, to, you know. Well, that, that, if you keep that stamp put on that copy, pay 50 cents for a copy, and you want them to stamp that I think no, it's just a dollar to certify a true copy. Well, if you just look, ten dollars is um, I don't know, it's ten dollars for the recording, like for the first page, and then it's so much for each page afterwards. The D stamps are what a percentage of the of the cost of the cost itself. If you need a certified copy, a certified copy is not for the dollar. Mm -hmm. so why they, they charge more than that? Where were you? You on the third floor of the administration building? Were you at the front window? We have to go there and try to get help. Yeah. Did you hear what he just said? We have to try to find help to find help. There was a lady in the jail. Back in there was a book called First Image. Right, right, right. I don't know. Tommy, can you think? I can't think of why anything would have been. Is it, can you think of why something would have been $10 to certify? No, just to record. Unless now, recording, if you're actually getting it stamped and clocked in, that's different than just pulling a copy from the already existing records and having it certified a true copy. In other words, if you lose your deed or mortgage and someone needs a certified true copy, you could go up there and pay the 50 cents a page for the document and then you pay a dollar to have it stamped a true and, cer a true and certified copy. But if you're recording it, you can actually put it into the records and you're paying more. So the county's using this particular department as a source of revenue over and above what, so your budget's, what, I mean, Uh, 63, I think. 63. Uh, well, I mean, there's smoke. So it's not a high pay. <laughs> it's not the salary that I'm doing. Steve, let me point out something. This department is highly important, not only in the real estate, in the, as a historian, I've spent about half my life in those, because that's where we get most of the history from, mm -hmm. off documents. And if documents are not properly indexed and taken care of and, and, and even available to uh, researchers, 
uh, then you, you, you lose something. And you if can't you, if you wanted to look up your family history, most of it would come from, from documents that are in this office up here. So it's real, real important what and she's it's, talking it's, about. It's an issue right now. The, the, it's an the, issue. The, the current state of the documents that are there is an issue. What, what are the problems that you were alluding to? There are torn pages. There are pages ripped out of indexes. There is. Yeah, um, they'll go in. There's a, a, a plant system that was. That we took the the old books, the old big large plant books. You've obviously been there, so you're familiar with it. They were all taken out and scanned and put on slides. You can't get the originals now, can you? Well, the originals go to the to you anyway. I mean, you know, you yeah. could, but. But I mean, the original either the surveyor has you know yeah. you get the original of everything. Most everything's copies. Right. right. But well, this, this plat system that's been introduced now with the slides, they're ripped, they're torn, they're, Tommy's shaking his head. Um, most of there was a chance they could have been indexed, I mean scanned and indexed, and that was turned down and it was offered for free. And I know for a fact that it was turned down. And there was somebody hired who I have, you know, I want to give people jobs every chance to get, but this person wasn't qualified and, and really it, it's, it's in bad shape. The plats there are in bad shape. You can't walk in and find anything easily. You, you just can't. There, there are simple things like, like putting a sign up that says, "These books are here. This is this. This is this." You know, there, there's some real simple. There's somebody needs to come out there and physically repair these books. You know, tape some of these pages together. Go back and do the research into the corners that are missing. Find out what was missing right there by a process of elimination, which I think can be done. Might be hard, but I think it can be done. But um. Is it just on the budget? That's, well, of course it's going to cost money. I mean, I, you know, to get binders and get things for the books, yes, that costs money. But there are some things that just as an individual can be done, just, just working. An hour a day. Years ago, people used to go in with me. There'd be family disputes over land and, and wheels and this, that, and other. People go in and actually, they, they would they'd give them the original. They'd, uh, Tear a page out and put it in the pocket. History's gone. Now you go in and research that property, that part of history's gone. But somebody under Clinton's administration did something like that too, didn't they? Oh, yeah. It's, it's not unusual. Now you can't get your hands on the originals, which is one of the best things that ever happened. I'm good. I'm good. I just don't understand why somebody would have a partner when you're generating income. She's probably been working this so long she doesn't see the need for this these changes that you people, well, people I, have I, a bad habit of doing that. They sit there and everything's going good and and but there needs to be improvements but they don't see it. Well somebody you know, and, I, and I think and again I, I certainly There's something That's somewhere. exactly yeah. right. Uh, yeah. Most of those were destroyed. There's I'm, some few I'm that in the whole right now. So you can go it's, to other counties that it didn't have to be. And on the coast where they were up there. Lexington County Courthouse burned, but mm -hmm. not as a result of Sherman, uh, as I understand it. Because when I let them copy some of my documents off. They said they lost it, but it wasn't because of the war. Oh, really? Didn't it burn about that time? I thought so. I think you most of the record. I thought it did. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. But it wasn't because of the war. Well, there, there's a marker right by the courthouse in Lexington that, that explains that there's been like three or four courthouses. Was it but the one in 1865 was burnt when Sherman come through. Well, some, a lot of them were. I, I don't know. Uh, I've got so many of them. He, 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 he didn't leave too... He, he didn't leave too many buildings unscathed when he came through. But the local people loaded up wagons, loaded up records and stuff, and went in the swamps with them. They came back. Any more? Some of it was saved. Mr. Getty, any more questions for April? I do. You know, you you seem like you know what's going on there. So, I, I, any questions you have, it concerns me. You know, I'm I'm concerned with, like I said, everybody that that is in there. Realtors, surveyors, you know, everything that goes on. So. And, and Debbie always seemed like one of the better officers right. uh, that we had there as, as far as budget has to be in our office as opposed to certain yeah. other well, she does, yeah. if I, if I, Right, if, right. Yeah, if I may comment, Corey, Corey's absolutely right. All she has to do is keep the records, but there are indexes that are in there from the 60s and 70s that we can't read. We have to look up. If, if we want to look up a name, we have to look on a page that tells us where in the index to yeah. go, and some of them are illegible. Have been since she went in there and that's 
directors have written in. Yeah. Uh, a uh, K A N through K E Y. Go to page such and such, right. and the page numbers are. And written. just to explain um, how yeah. something that small can affect you, uh, attorneys nowadays want everything. They're, we're doing forty-year titles, sixty-year titles, and they want all the deeds in the chain, all the plats in the chain. Which chain of title is that's our lingo, but that's what we call it. So. For us to do that, and now with all the new HUD laws, they want these things at two-day turnaround. They want a set price, and they want you to do it quickly. So time, time is money, and and so there's a lot that goes on with our ability to just be able to get in there and to do what we need to we do. We should all be telling more lawyers to go to hell. Now, if you have a question, no, I just need the waitress to come in and shut the blind. <laughs> <laughs> get, get his head in my watch. But thank you all for letting me speak, and, and I've enjoyed it this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that wraps up our main piece of Tom, you, you have anything to summarize? You want to pass it over? I believe so. Okay. Hey, hello, folks. Steve Eisen here. We've had, a, we've had a great day here uh, with April McIver. Uh, April's running for Register of Deeds here in Lexington County. And uh, April, thanks for coming by today. Thank we had a great conversation, and I uh, hope you'll come back. This is Steve Eisen signing off for the last Friday in the year of 2011. If you're in South Carolina, come by to Casey Coffee every uh, Friday at 7 a.m.